What's up everybody? Welcome back to the main boat guy. Today we're going to do a vacuum pressure test on a lower unit on a budget. Um, most manufacturers call for a, um, a separate pressure tester and a vacuum tester, typically the Stevens Instruments. Um, but you're talking a couple hundred dollars for each one and for what they actually do I don't I don't believe that you need them um, but that's just me what I use um, Mighty Vac vacuum pressure tester it's got the switch to switch it back and forth vacuum and pressure so I've had pretty good luck with this um, I basically use the end off one of the cheap um, fills. That's probably the biggest spot where you'd, where you'd end up with a leak. Um, I could use the, the one that's on my, my filler. I've got the, the Stevens Instrument gear case filler, so I could use the end that's on that, but this, this seems to work for me most of the time. doesn't seem to have uh, many leaks. I believe this is Suzuki. Yep. So we're gonna need an adapter. So what you need is the adapter for the regular standard size. Um, I believe it's the same one as the the Yamaha. So we'll get that nice and tight. Don't dangle your tool over the oil bucket, or else you will end up with that in the bucket. And then always put your top screw. I'm, you could screw the tester into top or bottom, I guess. I've had it drain in for quite a while, so I don't have to worry about the the fluid going in. But if it's something that you just drained, you might want to put the tester at the top, obviously, because then you won't end up with oil in your tool. Um, another thing you'll need is a oh, spray bottle with some soapy water, which I had. Let's see if I can find it again. what I did with it. Okay. Let's pump it up, check the leaks first, and then we'll, then we'll try and find the leak. So we're on pressure first, and we'll go to five pounds, and it won't even hold anything. We can do a vacuum. Seven pounds. <coughs> So we're holding about seven pounds of vacuum, um, or inches of mercury, excuse me. Um, I'll let that sit. Put my tool up here without disturbing it so that it won't release. And then we'll let that sit for a couple minutes um, while I'm trying to find my soapy water. Well, excuse the mess. I'm really busy. <laughs> yes, I know. I should clean. And I will eventually. 
So she's holding. A little release, put it back on pressure. Guess maybe I'll pump it up fast enough. Might be time for a new pressure tester. But these are a heck of a lot cheaper than. Like I said, the alternatives. Alright, so we're at five pounds. And we'll try this for breeze fabric spray. Because this is some sudsy stuff. Should give us We will check the prop shaft seals. Can't shock it with a brass punch first. Knock this out of me. Cheap lice. It's wet. Yeah, she's pretty corroded on there. I'd have to say that's probably. Even though I'm not leaking. 